Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the LSU Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Bulldogs. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? LSU knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I agree with you. I'm taking LSU. Hello. What's up and what's happening? Welcome back to yet another retro game of the day. And today is NCAA 06. You got the LSU Tigers taking on the Georgia Bulldogs. Roo -roo. Them dogs, man. I'm representing those Georgia Bulldogs. Why? Because my high school name was the Bulldogs. But we wore LSU colors. We were like purple and gold. But our names were the Bulldogs. So, hey, man. And when I was younger, real younger, when I still had dreams and stuff, I dreamed of playing in the SEC for Georgia or LSU. Yeah, I know. It's weird like that but hey it is what it is man but this is one of the greatest football games ever made in my opinion and this might be the greatest football game ever made in my opinion yes ESPN NFL 2 game 5 had a lot of strong qualities and stuff like that yes Madden 04 and some other Madden games were pretty pretty good but as far as everything you want in the college football game or this football game period I think that this might take the cake as far as graphically. A lot of people say ESPN 2K5 and all pro 2K8. You know, graphically, the players really didn't look that good. I, t I tend to agree with that. You know, the equipment really didn't look that great. You know, as far as as far as just like standing still. In motion, ESPN 2K5 and all pro football 2K8 look phenomenal in motion. But outside of motion, I mean, just like stand still. Just took a picture of it. It's like, eh, what game is this? You know what I mean? But as far as everything that you want, a football game I mean this was like my everything back then you know I love Madden 06 for what it was I love the little vision cone you know sometimes it did get annoying and stuff like that but this game was on point from the presentation like I said the fact that the players were turning to Super Saiyans I mean it was it was phenomenal and on top of that it, it, this game came out in a year where I think college football was like at its height and popularity back then I think, you know, today college football has taken to another level with the college football playoff and stuff like that. But back then, or when this game came out, you had Vince Young at Texas, you know what I mean? This was the year that Texas played USC. You still have Matt Leinard as I miss a field goal like I always do in these retro games. You still have Matt Leinard, Reggie Bush, you know, Jer uh, Dwayne Jarrett, uh, Lindell White at uh, USC. Uh, Adrian Peterson was at uh, the University of Oklahoma. Marshawn Lynch, even though he was wearing number 24, supposed to be wearing number 10 in this game, he was still at Cal. You know what I mean? You just had like big time football players that were going to make names for themselves in the, in the NFL in this game. Jamarcus Russell for LSU, even though he's wearing number four. I believe this year he was supposed to be wearing number two, but hey, it is what it is. But um, again, just a phenomenal game. I remember doing Campus Legend, created a cornerback. I talked about this a little bit in my arena football video, and I just had a blast playing them out with my cornerback. And we actually got to the national championship game versus USC, and that was pretty cool, man. But anyways, let's get into the gameplay just a little bit. I'm a little bit rusty at this game, so if we lose, blame it on the rest. Don't blame it on the skill. But anyways, man, we're down by seven. We got the ball, and look at my man Lee. I believe his name was like really DJ Shockley. I believe that was his name. I know that he got drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. You know, makes sense. He played at Georgia. Look at that pass right there. Look at that catch. Oh my God. Like in this game, you could really throw the ball up to your, to your receivers and they will go up and get it. Like no, they do that better in this game than any other football game in my opinion. Right there. Bad pass by me though. Shoulda, shoulda took my time. I threw it off my back foot. That was bad. And I threw it kind of in the double covers. We had two receivers kind of in the same area. Not the best right route concept and not the best pass by me. Then look at this dude. Turns into a super saiyan. Ugh. Get off me son. I love it. I love it. Then he breaks another tackle and he's off to the races. And for those impact players, that's really what it was in college football and still is. Like a Mariota, he can take a game over single-handedly. You know what I mean? Because he's not always going to face teams that have NFL talent. You know what I mean? Even a defense like Florida State that has NFL talent on it, he can still make it look silly, you know? So right here, we try a little option play. Lee is going to end up pitching it, but the running back loses it, but Lee recovers it for the first down. So right here, we're going to roll out. Lee, what you got? And watch me just throw it up. 
make a play on the football. Thank you, sir. Move the hose chains. Ball is at the 50-yard line, still down by 14. Still need to get this thing into the end zone or it is bad, man. So we're driving back the pass right here. Under pressure again. Nobody's getting open. We throw this to the running back, but it's going to be a loss of about four. So, hey, why not do an option again? Watch me pitch the ball. And then we get upfield just a little bit. That's not going to be enough to move the chain. So on third and four, we got to come up clutch. And we're going to find Palmer. And he was a freshman back then. And I know that's not his real name. But they kept on talking about how he was a freshman. I was like, well, do your thing, freshman. Stepping back the pass, going back to who the freshman? Palmer, move those chains. Lee, drop a back to pass. Lee going to roll out. And look at that speed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And on Virginia Tech, they had like Marcus Vick, number 13 for uh, uh, Florida State. That was Antonio Camardi. They also had Leon Washington back then, or when this game came out. Um, the U, my favorite scores. That was one incredible play. Let me not no sell the play. That was an incredible play right there. Got away from the rush and threw a dot. And then the, the receiver juggled it, but still made the catch. Now we're only down by seven. But um, yeah, the U, they had Greg Olson. You know what I mean? They still had... um. Had a lot of great players. A lot of great players. I had Devin Heston, Greg Oaks. Those are the two guys that stand out for me. And this game was just a blast, man. So we're gonna drop back the pass right here. And again, we can't get the receiver. So here we go with, with Covington. He's gonna try and break a tackle, but the LSU defense is stingy, and we go nowhere. So we're dropping back the pass with Lee. Gonna roll out just a little bit, throw this one to Covington, but that pass is gonna hit the grass and it gets batted down. And right now, LSU is doing what they want to do on defense and on offense. So if your defense and your offense ain't working, you gotta get something going on special teams. So we're gonna force a fumble as Newberry gonna put that thing on the turf and Cruz is gonna jump on top of it. So we're gonna get the ball to come to around the outside and look at the hit he takes. My goodness. So play action pass right here. Lee's gonna drop back. Look at the dot. Ooh, in between three LSU defenders. I said in between three LSU defenders. Let's go and then no. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be a seam, kind of like a post pattern from the tight end. He's supposed to go outside just a little bit, then curve back in. But the timing was just a little bit off. Like I said, I'm a rusty man. And then watch this run. Oh, my gosh. If you do not stay in your lanes, the running backs will gash you. Nothing I love about this game is that they do trick plays in it, and they try to get their playmakers involved. I have another gameplay coming out later today where Camardi again, Antonio Camardi was 13 for Florida State. I believe he tore his ACL like in spring football, so he was out for this season and then of course in 07 he gets drafted by the Chargers but anyways man they put him in at, at, they put him in at receiver and I was like wow let's do a pass to him that's pretty dope and then again in the pregame of this they were hyping up number 22 and then here his name is Williams and he was freaking beasting and feasting this whole game man so I love the, how they actually try to get their playmakers involved too many times I just go back up top look at him go and get those balls man my man imagine if we had like Randy Moss back in college back in this it would be cookies straight cookies. Oh, Calvin Johnson's in this game, though, so maybe I can get y'all gameplay with number 21 from Georgia Tech, Calvin. But anyways, man, the trick plays, they actually try to get their playmakers involved. Too many times when they're playing Madden, they don't even try to get their big-time playmakers involved. You know what I mean? I ain't talking about playing against the user, but playing against the computer. You know, so many times, you know, you're going up against the lines, they don't really try to get the ball to make it, trying to go to the tight end, but it goes like the third receiver right here. Here comes the trick play. Little halfback pass back to Mitchell, and look at him make the catch and get the ball back to, like, the 30-yard line. So here we go with Williams, and Williams beast it and beast him, breaking tackle was fighting his way for a gain of about six. So we're down by 10, trying to get a stop, but they can go back to the workhorse Williams, breaking tackles, making people miss, and he's gonna pick up a fresh first and 10. So LSU is moving. We only got about two minutes left in the game. He's gonna find Clark, and Clark is gonna pick up a gain of seven. So it's third and three, Williams, he's gonna make a man miss and get into the end zone, and this is too easy for this young man. Three touchdowns for this dude. And the dancing. And there was a way to like push and shove. Like there was a way to push and shove in this game. And again, I don't condone fighting on the field. That's kind of why I don't watch hockey no more. I used to watch hockey. But you know, the fighting kind of just, it, it turns me off. But there's nothing wrong with showing, you know, that hey, I'm here to play. Yada, yada, yada. It's going to be an intense game. Nothing wrong with a little bit of trash talking, you know what I mean? As we go up top and this young man, he has been making plays all day. But um, so but there was a button, and I would always do it whenever it was like a rivalry game. You'll push a button, and the players would start to push and shove just a little bit. But if you let the animation finish, it'll be like a 15-yard penalty, depending on which one you pick. But if you cut the animation short, then the ref won't throw the flag, which I thought was pretty cool. In fact, it is pretty cool. In fact, they need that in a new game. They 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 really do.
They really do. But again, this is one of the best college football games, best football games, period. I have another game play for y'all dropping today as Williams can get around the outside again, but we stop him short. So we have a chance to get something going. We only got 36 uh, seconds. We have no timeouts left. First to 10. Lee is going to drop back the pass, throw this one up. It was big time catch by Palmer, all right? Let's hurry back to the line of scrimmage. Come on, man. Let's get this thing moving. 18 seconds. Let's drop back the pass. You've been making plays all day. All right, there's going to be intercepted by the free safety, and that's going to wrap this one up. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you all later. Hey. You know, I think it was a well played game for the most part. Georgia probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2006. Our final score, LSU 24, Georgia 14. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.